Hey guys, I hope you all are having a lovely day and today I'm doing my pregnancy update for 35 and 36 weeks. I can't believe I'm almost to the finish line. It's so crazy. <laughs> so right now I am 36 weeks and three days and on my apps here it says that I have 26 more days to go which is so crazy I feel like I was just 12 weeks pregnant not too long ago and now I'm 36 weeks <laughs> and my other app it says I have three weeks and five days left I cannot wait to meet her and hold her and take care of her and me and Matt are just so over the moon excited about her arrival <laughs> so I haven't had any cravings really, just drinking a lot of water and ice, no food cravings, and I'm not sure how much weight I've gained. I haven't been to the doctor recently. I start going on June 11th for weekly visits, and I believe that's when they're doing the Group B strep test because I think around 36 weeks is when they do it. I recently had a growth ultrasound, and she is weighing 30, well not 30, what am I talking about? She is weighing 6 pounds, 14 ounces. That's just an estimate weight. She could be smaller or bigger and she does have like 4 weeks to go still so I'm not sure how much bigger she'll get <laughs> but I'm really excited. And I had another baby shower on June 7th which was Saturday. My mother-in-law threw me a really fun baby shower. I have loads of photos on Instagram and stuff like that so make sure you're following my Facebook and Instagram because I posted all the photos on there and I'm also going to post like a video slideshow of the pictures and everything so you'll get to see it on here too in a couple days and make sure you're subscribed to my other channel Miss Kaylin Marie because I do weekly vlogs on there and I do have things with my pregnancy and baby stuff on there <laughs> and another thing is my belly button is starting to come out I think it's still in but it looks really really small and just like weird looking <laughs> and my belly button it itches so bad I'm not sure why my belly does not itch anymore it's just like it's just like my belly button area really strange <laughs> And I feel great. I don't have any issues sleeping or falling asleep. I do feel the baby move a lot more, which is really nice. <laughs> and I can't wait to meet her. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> and um, I have a lot of energy. I know a lot of people say that their energy, your energy slows down in the third trimester. But I don't feel tired ever. Like, I stay up late to like... 3 a.m. sometimes and I'll wake up at a decent time like around 9 or 10. Ever since I've been pregnant besides the first trimester I was really tired then but in the second and third trimester I feel like I have way more energy than I did when I wasn't pregnant. It's so crazy to me and what else has been going on? I have been starting to pack my diaper bag and my hospital bag and I am so excited. <laughs> a lot of people have been asking me if I was being induced. They haven't told me if I'm being induced. If I am, <laughs> I plan to have a vaginal birth with an epidural and I hope everything goes well and I'm just super excited. <laughs> I know I keep saying that but I am. It's the truth and I don't really have too much to update on yet. We have a lot of baby stuff, like everything in my house is baby, 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 baby. <laughs> and I don't know who will do who will actually deliver my baby since I have I have um like five different doctors and they like you to see each doctor every time you go. So I don't know who will be on call that day. So we will see. And her name is Gracie. 
Her name is not, her first name is not going to be Grace, and that is a decision me and my husband made. We love her name, Gracie, and that is going to stay her name, and my family loves it as well, and I just am so excited about her name, and her being here, and taking care of her, and after um, I do all my pregnancy updates, I guess I'll start doing postpartum updates and my labor and delivery story. I'm not sure how often to do like postpartum updates, like once a month or every two weeks. I'm not sure. <laughs> so that is all for this video and I will show you my bump in a minute. So hold on. Okay, so here is my bump for 36 weeks. This is my maternity pants. They still fit. I'm not really comfortable with showing my bare belly. I know some people ask me to, but I do have stretch marks, and I'm just not going to show it on YouTube. But I don't know if I dropped. I can't tell. I wish I could, but I can't. Like I, I feel some pelvic pressure every now and then, but nothing too crazy. And my feet are super swollen, and I do elevate them, but it doesn't help that much and that the tops of them actually are very sore so that's my belly for 36 weeks <laughs> and this top is not maternity it's just a regular shirt it's actually probably not fitting me as well but that is my belly